development of a training program for higher education counseling teachers. The educational field in which teachers and students converge is integrated by a number of problems which do not necessarily obey the processes of academic teaching but do affect the performance of students. Even more so if we take into account that in the dynamics of societies, there are a series of factors ranging from the situations that students experience in their environment to those that arise in the academic field. Aspects coupled with a weak presence in universities of teaching advisors who guide students in their different problems. The teacher in his role as counselor focuses his interest on the personality of the individual, also emphasizing on the personal social area with a holistic view and from a biopsychosocial approach. In this sense, the guidance teacher is a binding element between the individual needs of learners and the global needs of society. The ultimate purpose of counseling is to guide students in their different problems, whether it's their personal, family, or educational environment, ranging from weak communication with their peers and teachers to rejection by the chosen career, leading the student not only to face process of academic mortality or student desertion, but in the worst case, to take possible behaviors that threaten their integrity and their life. This situation exposes the need to strengthen student counseling and its actors for teachers to achieve assertive communication with students and provide real opportunities to those who require their guidance. To this end, a training program mediated by information and communication technologies is proposed, which helps teachers to acquire the specific competences in relation to counseling and be an aid to reduce all the situations that emerge when students feel lost within the academic setting. The overarching objective of this investigation is to design, implement, and evaluate a training program for higher education teacher counselors mediated by information and communication technologies to support their management and as a fundamental part of the functions of university teachers. This objective is developed through the following specific objectives. Characterize the elements of student counseling in a higher education setting, Identify models of university student counseling at national and international level with their corresponding support programs for counseling teachers. Propose a training program for counseling teachers through an ICT strategy to support their higher education management processes. And analyze the strengthening of student guidance skills in counseling teachers before and after their counseling training processes. The present research used a mixed experimental approach. For this, a diagnosis was carried out with teachers and students to verify the problem and know their perception about the functioning and usefulness of counseling teachers and the institutional university counseling program. A pretest measurement of the level of competence and ability of the counseling teachers to develop the activity and a post-test measurement with the same group to identify the relevance and applicability of the design program were also carried out. The instruments used were built by the researcher and were validated following methodologies and statistical analysis guaranteeing the ethical standards of the research. A diagnosis of the problem that sustains the investigative work was made, allowing compliance with the specific objectives and the general objective. From this diagnosis, it is highlighted that of the 64 students participating, 64% have never gone to the counseling teacher of the program and the remaining 36% have attended. In contrast, the diagnostic study showed that 80% say they have not attended institutional counseling services, while the remaining 20% have. According to the different phases of the study, the theoretical analysis was carried out in three categories. The systematic review of the literature, systematic literature review, SLR, and systematic mapping, systematic mapping study, were carried out following the technical criteria, practical and conceptual guidelines. The confirmation and analysis of the problem was carried out through the application of the diagnostic study with teachers and students, the elements of student counseling program for higher education at a national and international level were characterized, and the training program, DOCO, was designed and validated through an ICT tool. The current contributions are related to the analysis and interpretation of the diagnostic study through a multivariate study, 
with which the centralized services of student counseling of the educational entity are being improved. It is expected that with the training program of counseling teachers, they will be able to exercise their work in a more professional, practical, proactive, and beneficial way in the training processes of university students.